noticed one of my nails was green and she was like she you could tell she was like nervous like she kept trying to file it down and it happened to be the lady that did my nails Wednesday, June 16th. It is my dog's birthday, so we're gonna go make some cupcakes for her. I was gonna actually post a vlog today, however, I deleted the footage because I couldn't follow the footage. Let me bring you an update on um, what happened with my camera. So, I was recording some things and then my camera died. I could not find the camera charger. So when I went to go pick up and edit it, I couldn't figure out what the heck I was doing. So that's how far apart some of that footage was. So I decided not to post any of that. I'm just going to start fresh today. I am off. Yes, I took off for my dog's birthday. Don't judge me. You guys check out my hair in the meantime. I've been using the Mayo Organics rice water collection. I know some people have such mixed reviews on these products. <clears throat> but you guys, I actually like two of the products. So I purchased three of them. I purchased the rice water moisturizing milk, excellent for length retention. I purchased the rice water split and split in therapy. And then I purchased the rice water clay mask. So what I will say about this, this is definitely moisturizing to my hair it's lightweight it's very easy to comb it doesn't have a lot of build up it was a great price point for me as well most of the stuff in this line was around nine dollars nine ninety nine and for me to say I like anything from her is actually a surprise because most of her stuff is usually a complete and total miss for me. But I continue to try to buy her stuff because she does have nice price points. So these drops, I actually have been loving them. They make my scalp feel moisturized. I've been combing them through my ends. I haven't noticed the difference in my ends, but I like how it makes my scalp feel <clears throat> and it's not too heavy. So I've been loving that. This clay mask. First impression, I actually thought I was going to like the clay mask just due to the fact that it wasn't heavy, it wasn't great. Um, when I went to rinse it out of my hair, it was very drying. I did not like it at all. <clears throat> I know some people had an issue with it because it didn't feel like a clay mask, but I was actually the opposite. I thought I would love it because it didn't feel like a clay mask to me because typically clay masks are a lot heavier on my hair, a lot harsher on my hair. But to me, this did act like a clay mask. It was very drying. So I probably won't pick this item up again, but I will definitely repurchase. I've actually repurchased both of these items recently on target.com so that's what i've been using in my hair recently it styles my hair great as you guys can see i have cut my hair recently as well i like to just keep my ends trimmed cleaned up i don't like keep holding on to dead hair so i've been loving that i've also been recently loving the Camille Rose Rejuva, Rejuva Drops Grow Back. You guys, I've talked about this before in some of my vlogs, and I'm still using it. I was using it after postpartum. I will show you all the postpartum video that I had. Um, I did a review. I want to say it was on a main choice product. And this was one of the items I was also using as well. It helped grow back my edges. Very, very full, as y'all can see. I'm not missing anything in the front anymore. During, my edges are fine in general, but they were like, like literally was completely gone. So, 
for me that was a plus so I've been loving this too as well I've been putting this in my hair daily and massaging it through my scalp I ordered some of this and I also ordered the Bromney oil I will link that video below I absolutely love that oil that oil hasn't changed the consistency it's consistent every time I stop using it and it's consistent every time I start picking it back up so I will say go check those products out Today I'm going to go find Pineapple a birthday hat because it is for the birthday girl. My husband didn't want me to get a balloon. He said that was extra. Whatever. Anyways, <clears throat> um, so what else have I been up to, you guys? I'm going to tell you guys about the Keisha K Or tea that I have used, you guys. If y'all are looking for a detox tea, that might be the tea to go to. Just don't go anywhere for 14 days. So let me show you guys an update on my closet. So, on the closet here, if y'all can uh, see, um, so an update on the closet. So, right here, <clears throat> I went ahead and added those decorative books. Those were actually, these books have been everywhere. So, I just decided to house them in my closet. I bought shoe racks. I'm going to buy some more because I still have shoes on the floor that need to be picked up. <clears throat> I changed out the hangers on my side. I'm going to buy some more hangers so I can do my husband's side. Excuse the emptiness. Half of my stuff is in the dirty clothes. Um, and then I put my purses up there. I got rid of a lot of purses. Those were just the ones that I wanted to keep. Then I went ahead and put all this stuff into containers. I have one more box to buy, which is a sweater box that looks just like these that I'm gonna house my pants in. And I bought him a hat box, which I feel like he doesn't use. Y'all look at this, look at this. These hats are supposed to be in here. This is so annoying. Anyways, <clears throat> no pressure. So when it's closed up, that's how it's supposed to look. Okay, so I'm changing out all his hangers. He cleaned out his side. He has way more clothes than I do. I'm still waiting on the rug that I ordered from Amazon. I did order a very big square rug that's going to go right here. And we're going to keep this ottoman here. <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure out what to do with that because we really don't need that. You guys, I also ordered some stuff from Skims. Skims has some nice stuff. If you didn't catch their sale, their stuff is definitely worth purchasing on sale. I will say if you're buying anything from Skims, and I actually went in with this assumption because I felt like her stuff probably did run small, go up a size. And I've noticed when I went up a size on everything I bought, um, it worked out for me. So that would be my advice. So you guys check out this dress. I picked this dress up from Amazon. It's super cute. I picked it up. I picked it up in black, white, no, black, blush, and this color. Absolutely love it. It's super, super comfortable. <clears throat> I'll try to link the uh link to it in the description box no it's not a commissions link it will just be a link um if i can find it in my pay history so change of plans i'm actually going to pick up the cupcakes from sprinkles i just ordered some just now so we're going to pick them up and i need to get on the road like now so i'm gonna pick them up Go find a hat and um, I might find her a balloon even though my husband doesn't want me to find her a balloon and they have like these little pup cups, pup cupcake. So I bought her one and her brother one. So adorable.
So you guys, let me tell you about my horror nail story. So I've been getting my nails done since I was about 16. This is literally the first time this has ever happened to me. Typically when I get my nails done, I go every two weeks, maybe three weeks. Three weeks is really pushing it. So I've been getting my nails done. And with the dip, if you change the color, they take off the acrylic nail anyways. They don't keep it on because they can't. So I've every two weeks I was getting a new set of nails. So I went to this nail shop, Cowboy Cowboy Nails in Little Elm. Y'all, if you live in this area, do not go to Cowboy's Little Elm because they're dirty. And I went, got my nails done. She went to go take off the, the tip and the dip because they had only been there for two weeks. And when she took it off, I noticed one of my nails was green. And she was like, she you could tell she was like nervous. Like she kept trying to file it down. And it happened to be the lady that did my nails. Cause I pointed out, I was like, oh yeah, you did my nails the last time. And so she was like trying to file it down. She was like, oh, don't worry. It will come off. Don't worry. It will come off. And at this point I'm like, girl, it's not coming off. It's green. And I don't know if y'all can see it. The nail is a funny color, but you really can't, um, you can't see it that good anymore. But anyways, so I was like, it's green. And I've never had this happen to me. So she's like trying not freak out, whatever. So she puts a new set on, it's still green. So I get out the nail shop, I get on Google and it says, um, typically if it's blue, go to the doctor. If it's green, that means there's fungus or mold. Well, it says mold because water was getting entrapped into the nail every time you washed your hands. So basically if somebody put the acrylic on there wrong and it had like a little air gap way for water to get through and get trapped, that's what it is. So I'm sitting here like, girl, I forgot my nails done for I don't know how long. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. And you're trying to like sweep it under the rug like it's not happening. I was so annoyed. And so I took off the nails after about two weeks. As y'all can see, it pretty much like grew out. It told me like soak your finger in vinegar and stuff like that. And it will grow out. Um, and then that's when the color is going to fall off. So if you live in this area, cowboy nails and little elm do not go this was the first time this has ever happened to me and the nail shop looks clean however you can't take into account what these people are really doing if they're trying to rush to get through your nails because that just seems like that was a rush thing that wasn't a a dirty thing it seems like she just rushed it and when she probably put the nail on she didn't fully seal the nail allowing water to come through so y'all just a word There's the birthday cupcakes, and then ours, it's multiple people, so got those from Sprinkles. Y'all, I wanted to pop in too real quick because I purchased this recently. It's the K-Or um, K Slimming Tea Defo Detoxifying for Healthy Weight Loss Organic and Natural 14 Day Detox. <clears throat> this is $36.99. You have to pay shipping, which is $9.99, and then plus tax on that. 
So ultimately you're paying around 50 bucks for this bag of tea. It's caffeine free, um, GMO free. It stimulates your body for a natural cleanse and appetite suppressant. You get 14 tea bags in here. You guys, when I say this tea has been working, this tea actually has really been working. I didn't make it 14 days straight. I had to take a break because from the moment that you start taking this tea, you really are on the toilet. It says that you take one bag and put it in half a cup of water, let it sit for five minutes. So you guys, sound off in the comment section let me know if you guys have taken this tea i will say when it starts to make you go to the bathroom it's very subtle like it's not like a true laxative it's very 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 subtle the back of the tea if you want to know some of the ingredients in here it's peppermint fennel sienna leaf and that's i want to say licorice licorice or something like that i can't pronounce that word However, that is what's in this. It's showing that, that these are the four ingredients that are in here. It's zero calories. Like I said, it has no caffeine. So if you have problems with caffeine, you can still take this tea. You guys, it, honestly, I was actually surprised at how fast it made you go to the bathroom. If you're going to take this tea, definitely don't have anywhere to go. I had to stop because I have been having places to go and I don't have time to sit on the toilets, but I will be picking it back up. And I think I'm, I'm going to probably order some more. It's just a good detox tea, especially if you have like, you've had a heavy week of food. This is definitely a tea that I'm going to continuously take. I'll probably order more than one bag since shipping is so much. I haven't tried anything else from her fitness line, but this is something I will say it's worth a buy if you don't mind being on the toilet and you don't have to take like two different types of tea, like a day and a nighttime tea. This is just this bag, this tea bag and you use this tea bag for the day. I went ahead and picked these up. We just got back from Target. I can't ever recall if I've tried these vitamins or not. I know these have been around for quite some time. They're the Blissful Lymphs Hair Vitamins by Curls. I don't really care for a lot of Curls products. However, I am gonna try these liquid vitamins, if I'm not mistaken. These are, I believe these are liquid vitamins liquid vitamins I like I want to say part of me feels like I have tried them before but I'm just not too sure if I did it was such a long time ago it was probably really really early on on my YouTube channel if I have but I'm gonna revisit them take these vitamins and we're gonna see how they are comment in the comment section if you have taken those vitamins before if you like them pros cons because you guys i literally don't remember ever taking these so i'll tell you guys if i like them or not and also while we were out you guys we went ahead and stopped by the meat market 
and we got a pound of chicken for us, fajita chicken. So we're gonna grill it up tonight. We're gonna have chicken and veggies, yum. So you guys, this is my meal for tonight. I turned mine into a salad. Looks pretty good. My daughter's eating chicken and mac and cheese. And my hubby is eating chicken and asparagus. What is up guys? So it's officially nine o'clock. The day is ending and we're through with this vlog. So comment down in the comment section. Let me know if you guys like the day vlog type things. Um, you guys literally walk through this whole random day with me. I'm gonna edit this tonight and post it tomorrow. So you guys will see this on, what is that? The 17th? Yes, 17th. So until next time, y'all. Bye.